Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to share something new and fun with you guys that I am also very excited about and that is Tofu Kitty Litter. Now what is Tofu Kitty Litter? This company is very cool because not only are they eco-friendly and their litter is biodegradable but it's also a monthly subscription service so no more do I have to go to the store and lug a heavy, heavy boxes of litter to my car and then home. This way it just gets shipped straight to my door, which is a huge help and time saver for me. Now I am very excited about this because I am the proud owner of two cats. So this is definitely something that I will put to use almost immediately and I'm excited to see my thoughts on it, their thoughts on it, and genuinely what this litter is like, if it's good, if it's bad. I am excited to kind of test it out and experiment with you guys today. It's also supposed to be three times more absorbent than clay and two times more absorbent than crystal, both of which are debatably bad for your cat. So this should all around be better. It's also supposed to be better at odor lock, which is very important. And I would love it if this was really good odor lock because having two cats, it's definitely noticeable. So there's a bunch of different settings on their website when you go to order that I can pop up, but there's different sizes and I got the two cat size per month because I have two cats, but there's one cat, two cat, and multi-cat options. So that way you don't just have to order twice as much and pay twice as much shipping. It just all comes in one, no matter how many cats you have, which is super, super nice. It's also supposed to be an amount for just one month. So you should be running out around the same time you get another bag, which is super nice because it cuts the stress out of having to run to the store every single time you accidentally run out of litter. So this is our 10 pound bag of Tofu Kitty. Now, what makes this biodegradable is this is actually made of food grade soy plants, the bits and parts that aren't used in food they would otherwise end in a landfill. They take that and they make this litter. So it's sustainable because they're not just farming what could be made into food, as well as being biodegradable since it's made of all natural ingredients. And that's super cool for me because any way I can reduce my footprint and change little things in my life to positively impact the environment I like to try and do, especially something as simple as litter, which will reduce the number of bags that go to the landfill, as well as being better for my cats and generally just better for the environment. Now this is also supposed to naturally absorb CO2 as well, so we'll see if it will help with those odors. So first impressions, the pellets are a lot smaller than I expected them to be, which is really good. Um, in pictures, I was worried like the cats might be weirded out with how big the pellets are, because before that we had more of a sand-like litter and I didn't know if it would be super different or how the cats would react. But the pellets are actually very small and about the size of like sprinkles you would put on ice cream. As soon as you open it up too, you can definitely smell that it kind of has an odor to it and it's not a bad odor. Um, it almost smells like matcha green tea and that sounds really weird. But it's really kind of like a nice, soft, subtle smell that's it's nice. It, it, it honestly almost smells like green tea. And I don't know how much of that is my brain telling me it should because it's green, but to me, that's the first smell that I think of when I smell this. So that's definitely already an improvement, is that it just by default smells nice. Now, the thing I'm curious about is they keep claiming this is flushable. And I'm really, really hesitant about that because like I don't want to clog anything, you know, like... I don't know if I want to risk it, but I think I am going to do an experiment before I try and just straight up flush it down the toilet. So I'm going to get a cup of water and we're just going to put some in and see if it dissolves because I'm really intrigued. If I can just flush this, that's going to be great and it's going to cut down significantly how many um, plastic bags I'm putting out at the curb, which would be awesome. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to stir it, so we'll just plop them in at first and see if they'll dissipate on their own or if it's something that needs to kind of be stirred, but Really, the flushable aspect of this is something I'm very, very intrigued about. So without further ado, let's plunk some in. Now, this is just room temperature water. It's not necessarily cold or hot. So hopefully it's about the same as what a toilet would be. Okay, so they're definitely getting like kind of soft and fluffy and dissolving on their own with like not even needing to stir it. Wow. Crazy. Oh 
Wow. So there's almost like no chunks in this. Like I stir it and I look and it's pretty much gone to just particles. Wow. That's crazy. Like I don't know if you can see, but like when I try and scoop, it's just like that dissolved a lot faster than I expected it to. Like I expected it to melt, but I expected it to still kind of be chunky. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna pour it out and just see like how much sediment stays in the cup. Okay, so there is a little bit of sediment, which you know might stay in your toilet, but overall, like that's not a bad amount. Um, it's a lot less sediment than I expected to be in the bottom. Like overall, this completely dissolved just me putting it in before I even stirred it. So without further ado, let's get into my thoughts on the litter and the cat's thoughts on the litter and generally the best way to go about this litter. So the best way to transition your cat to this litter is not just to fill up the entire litter box with it right away. You're going to want to slowly work the litter into your cat's previous litter until through cleaning the litter box, it becomes all tofu kitty. That way they can get used to the new texture, the new smell, the new appearance, all of that stuff. So that way your cat isn't jarred by the difference and actually uses the litter box. Here you can see, um, this is one of the first few times that I mix them together, just as an example of the proper way to kind of mix them together. So I actually really, really like this litter. I like the way it clumps. I really like that it's flushable. Overall, I think it went over really well with my cats. And I'm excited to get another bag of this next month. I will say it does take a little bit more sifting than usual when you're cleaning out the litter box as opposed to the sandier based litters. But if you're used to pellets already from something like paper litter, then it's going to be something you're already used to. I really like this company and I'm really happy to be able to talk to you guys about this and I'm really happy that I was able to try out Tofu Kitty because this is definitely a product that I feel good standing behind and feel really excited about using in my everyday life. If you would like a cool discount on your very own Tofu Kitty subscription, make sure to use code ODDFELL at checkout. It will help support me as well as supporting you having a more sustainable litter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.